Well hello friends, it is Sunday. I seem to have ended up with a car boot full of faulty hoverboards. They're not exactly faulty because I've been assured all the motors are working. What the guy has obviously done is just after the battery. This is where the battery goes on the right hand side. I suppose you can ride it either way. But yeah, the battery goes in there and he's obviously taken all those. This is another one because they all have the batteries missing. Now what he said to me was that there's a few in there that are really heavy and that the motors are more powerful. And this one seems a lot heavier. So I'm wondering if they're the more powerful motors. Anyway, in total, there's 24 uh, working motors. So greetings friends, it's Sunday and I wanna get started on this hoverboard recycling project. I've got 12 hoverboards here, most of which have had one side taken off and this side still remains. Uh, on each of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I know these screws can be a bitch to get out I'm going to lug a load of this in each of them where there's a screw and then we'll leave it for 20 minutes And then we'll come back and start trying to take them apart Right, we should leave that 20 minutes for the goodness to soak in and then we'll start taking the outer casings off. They are the three that didn't have any casing on them. The old wind turbines just started up, but we're not concentrating on that today. Sweet! Right, I've got a really good fast drill here, so let's try and do this. I'm just going to speed the whole thing up. So that's the pile of them with all the tops taken off. Uh, some tops I might keep some of the bits, like there's little speakers in there. I might keep hold of those. But obviously the main thing we're after is the motors. Uh, I may keep some of these. What I should actually do is I'm going to make sure all the motors and everything are marked up. So this will be number one. So the two motors will have a one written on them. Uh, these can have a, a one written on them. And we'll see if we can get any life out of any of them using those control boards. I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Uh, some of them, the wires got hacked, but... The ones that didn't have the wires hacked, we might be able to use them. Sweet! There they all are. What I did yesterday was just remove the plastic cases. So now I'm going to remove both these boards. I've noticed this red one is a lot heavier than the others, so maybe it's got more powerful motors. It's either that or the cast frame, whatever it is, is a lot thicker, but we'll have to see what we need.
that's the first five done time for a break what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the motors out of these five that I've stripped the shell off and then I can get rid of the cases and that should be just these four bolts here these will be more difficult to get out than the screws and may put up a bit of a fight No fight there. Obviously these are getting kept. What I've decided to do is number them so that I know that's an exact pair in case they get mixed up. So I'm just going to put a number one on each this is the unit that feels heavier so it'll be interesting to see if the motors are heavier yep they definitely feel heavier so these can be kept maybe for electric bikes so I'm gonna mark them 2H for heavy You'll notice what I did on the last one, I took three screws, then I flipped it over. That's because with the weight of the other motor in the top, if you undo all four and you're not ready, it will tip over. I only, did, I only did that because the other two were heavier, so I shouldn't have to do it on this one. I'm going to give this one a spray and leave it for ten minutes. Just zooming in for a moment because you can see I think I've just snipped the wires there so that will be an excellent one that we can uh, replace and fix the wiring hopefully. So we've got these which are in the dry and they're just going to soak into those bolts because they're obviously a complete nightmare. There's all the G 
junk, loads of wires, uh, like the, mo the, the faulty motor, there's more than enough wire to repair those. There's hall sensor connectors. Uh, there's a proper hall sensor wire. So yeah, let's just go look at the motors. So there's seven motors there. I took one out of that one and each of those have two in, so that's seven. There's all the motors and they're all labelled up in pairs, as I said. And there's the knackered one. That's fine, we can fix that, a bit of a challenge. These screws are a complete pain in the ass to get off, so we'll have to deal with that. There's a couple more there because I didn't want to overload the shelf. So there's 17 in the shed and then there's seven outside. So we'll call that a day for now and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Cheers.